hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here then hi my name is Chloe and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, as you may have known a couple of weeks ago there was no YouTube content, no streaming content, nothing uh, and that's because I went to Greece for the week so I thought I would bring you all along with me. So as you watch me fumble through my Zelda mag <laughs> my Zelda magazine. I had to film this because it just, all the pages stuck together and it was so annoying. <laughs> so yeah, as we're flicking through, um, yeah, I just wanted to take you all with me. So we went to Rhodes for five days and I've never been to Greece before. So it was really fun, really exciting. I'm really struggling with this magazine. Um, yeah, so it was really fun. Um, and my God, it was so warm but we'll get to that. So uh, yeah, came to the plane. Um, I, as the, I went with my sister. So as the youngest sister, I had to sit in the middle. <laughs> I didn't, but I offered to, cause she's very tall. So uh, yes, I wanted to show you all uh, me holding my skirts like a little peasant girl <laughs> as we got onto the plane. And yeah, I was stuck in the middle um, for four hours and my God, I was so restless, but it was fine. I had a lot of podcasts and I played Animal Crossing and a little bit of Tears of the Kingdom as well. So I didn't do much in particular, but I guess you've got a little sneak peek of uh, some areas and like decorating that I was doing on my Zelda island. Um, I think I was doing, yeah, I was doing the like Hateno village area and I'm really heckin' proud of that. Um, at sunset as well, while we were flying over, we saw the Alps, which was insane. Um, our pilot was so nice. Um, he just kept giving us updates and been like, and now we're over this part of the world. And it just, I don't know, it kept blowing my mind. Um, and for those who saw the um, Tis the Kingdom chat control, know that I finally beat that stone talus um, after you all forced me to fight it with no weapons. Um, so I just wanted to put that in there. <laughs> so yeah, we got to Rhodes, I think it was about 11 o'clock at night, midnight maybe, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, we, we landed and then I went straight to sleep. Um, I was so tired. Um, and then here's my cute, lovely face. Um, I got surprised at something apparently. <laughs> So yeah, we were very lucky. Uh, we went all inclusive. I don't remember. I think we might have done an all inclusive holiday like a couple of times as a kid, but I don't remember it. So I was very excited because the food was so good. Um, so yeah, this was day, technically day two. So we decided to head into the town with these adorable little bus tickets. Um, so yeah, I'd done a little bit of research on what to see. Of course, I wanted to enjoy the views. Um, and yeah, so we went to the harbour or the port um, with the little deer um, and then we went to the old town, which was personally my favourite part. I, that's what I wanted to see because um, there's like a medieval palace, all the streets are very, like they give, they remind me of King's Landing. Um, and for my probably autistic brain, the amount of stalls with shells on them, oh my god. <laughs> I was in heaven. <laughs> so yeah, so we walked around the outside of the palace. This was like where the moat would have been. Um, and there were so many birds. My God, there were so many, I forgot. Um, but yeah, so we had a little wander around um, and it was very, very toasty. I think it was about 34, 35 degrees pretty much every day. Uh, and it was warm, but it's fine because you're on holiday and holiday heat is different to regular heat at least it is for me um, and I hope you may notice that so far there's been no footage of cats now Greece is known for the amount of cats that there are like strays and you'll get them if you hang tight and get to the end of the video you will see all of the cats that I saw and my god they were so cute <laughs> I did pet one and I kind of got scratched but it's fine um, this stall or this boat was the one place I wanted to go to. It's um, It was all over TikTok, all that sort of stuff, but I love shells. It just takes me back to being a kid and I got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I got some shells, I got a bracelet, I got some stuff for my family and I was, I was just in heaven. So 
yeah, just, just enjoy this shell portion of the video because I filmed a lot. <laughs> And then we went to childhood. I really, I wasn't sure if I was gonna include this video or not because I <laughs> make a bit of a mess. But um, yeah, we had ice cream or ice lollies to, to cool down because it was so friggin' warm. And oh yeah. Um, then we came back, we were so hot um, and we'd managed to get a room upgrade um, because we asked for a, a beach view and the first room that we were in didn't have it. So uh, yeah, this was, so nice. More importantly, it had aircon. So I will, yep, I'm very happy. <laughs> As we, I will reiterate to anyone outside of Europe, we don't have air conditioning really, apart from Greece, but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, wanted to show you how cute I am with my little holiday nails. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to relax and sort of take a minute after it being such a hot day and <laughs> Yes, I brought a cocktail back to my room and enjoyed the sun. So, you know, I've got to do it. Um, so yeah, just chilled a little bit, especially because, you know, we're still sort of going on the fact that we've had about six hours of sleep and jet lag. So, you know, let's just chill for a bit. And then we came for food and the fruit was so good. That's not what I ate for my tea. I had this for pudding, but I just wanted to show off how insanely good all the food was. <laughs> because, you know, I'm starting to be an all-inclusive girly, what can I say? Um, and then me and my sister made it actually a tradition to start coming down to the beach every evening um, to watch the sunset and it was really nice. Um, you know, I'm very fortunate, me and my sister are really close and it was nice just to spend this, I meant the whole holiday together just goofing around, but like, look at that, how lovely is that? And all of those like mountains over in the distance uh, is Turkey, which I could never get over. <laughs> so yeah, it was just so nice. I mean, look at that. Oh, all of the parts of the Caribbean vibes with that sunset. It was so beautiful. I loved it. And then we get to day three, which was the day I was most excited for. Um, God, you can see the concentration on my face. <laughs> Um, it was a boat day, so um, we took a taxi firstly because the bus didn't show up um, and we joined like, what was it, I think 100 people total. So we joined a lot of people on this insane pirate ship and went around the bays of Rhodes for six hours and apart from the horrific sunburn I got from it, it was amazing, it was so good. Um, I mean, I have written down a couple of quotes from the people who ran it. Um, so we had food all day, we had drinks all day. Um, the lady um, who was sort of running the joint, her name is Catalina, she called us all her darlings and she said, the bar is open, the donuts are waiting. I mean, who doesn't want to hear that? <laughs> and then the guy, whose name I can't remember, said, I want you to drink everything, melt the ice and drink it too. So this was a vibe and this was the first bay that we got to and just watching other people jumping into the sea and having a great time made me so excited. The sea was so salty, um, but doesn't matter. We were having such a nice time and the water was so clear. I, I couldn't capture it on my camera. It just it didn't quite work. But yeah, you can see how much fun everyone's having. Um, we spent like, I think like 45 minutes in each of the bays and there was three of them. And then every time we came back from being in the, the sea, uh, you know, we'd dry off, have some drinks, have some food um, and go again. And it was just so much fun. Um, I think this one here was Anthony Quinn Bay. Um, was this one? I think. Oh no, this is me. <laughs> this is me being a little bit scared, but facing my fears. Yes, that was Anthony Quinn Bay. And then we came back and we had uh, a Greek barbecue, which was so good. Um, and it, yeah, it was just, it was sunny. It was warm, you know, there was people from loads of different countries. So there was loads of different languages going on and everyone was so nice and polite. It was, it was just so nice. It was just throughout the whole day, it was a good vibe. Um, 
and then yeah this was before I realized how bad my sunburn was you can't see it though which is good <laughs> so yeah we came back despite being fed all day and drinking all day we still came back and had good food um, and then went down to the beach again and oh my god this was such a good day. Um, if anyone ever, you know, does Greece or anything like that, I would really recommend doing a boat day because it was insanely good. Oh yeah, and then these cute, I don't know if they're a couple or family, but they put their name, wrote their names in stone and then we did the same because we're cute like that. <laughs> and then this was the last full day and we just went back into the town really and I had to show this shop because it was it had Disney Harry Potter it had loads of stuff and all those little statues at the start I used to buy all of them as a kid so I was very happy I almost got that lounge fly the tangled one but I didn't like I caved I'm gonna get a different one that's more expensive it's even better <laughs> so yeah then we came back into the main town we checked out the little windmill well not the little they're quite big uh, checked out the windmills just went round for a walk and had a really nice time um, because we weren't too sure what we wanted to do so we just thought you know what let's go back to all the back to the you know the town and uh, we ended up finding the this temple here which was the temple of Aphrodite um, which I was really happy to see because even though I didn't do history like GCSE or like I didn't do it at, at uni or anything I love history um, and I have to thank my partner for that. So, you know, seeing all these ruins and everything, oh, it was so beautiful. And then we came back to the old town, had some insane ice cream and yeah, it just, oh, it was so nice. Even though we didn't have like a plan, it still ended up being a really nice day, which I'm really happy with because sometimes you can just wander around and not really enjoy yourself. But as you can see, we did loads of stuff still. Um, and then in the evening, um, we, well, I, you know, we all got dressed up and had a lovely time. Um, instead of going downstairs to the hotel for food, we went to this really pretty beach bar. Um, and even though we're in Greece, I had Italian. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really stunning watching the sunset um, over the Aegean Sea, I believe it was. Um, I put my hair in braids because I want to be cute and yeah this was the vibes were immaculate so I thank myself for finding this place it was literally just over the road so amazing and shout out to this pavlova which was uh, it made me ascend <laughs> spiritually so I want to go back now just for that and then the last day we sort of had sort of time to kill um, before we got picked up to go back to the airport which was at like seven o'clock so I was begging my sister we need to go to the Acropolis in Rhodes and we finally did um, so even though the like the pillars and everything that you saw were covered in scaffolding this whole area was open so the first set of like steps that you saw um, was like a library then you had that area which was like chariot racing there was still stones with Greek writing on, which blew my mind. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, I mean, it was so hot, but it was amazing to see that. Like, this is thousands of years old and it's just there. <laughs> and despite the climb, the trek that we had, this was the view and it was just stunning. Um, so yeah, we get, went there, came back, started getting ready to go home. And I didn't film too much after this um, because I was just like, I just need to get home because like the flights got delayed and it was a bit stressful, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say, firstly, look at this fish. And secondly, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, do give it a like and subscribe as well. I don't do content like this often, but I really enjoy doing it. So uh, yeah, I love you all so freaking much. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the cat compilation that's coming up soon because I certainly enjoyed it. So yeah, I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye friends.